We're here at Solar Music and we have a uh, job, it's a, um, a tenor, a system, is it say system? Yeah, system 76, ping more out. And the job uh, ticket number is 6498. Um, we've been having a little look at the issues. Uh, we'll take the palm keys off and we'll take the pan pant guard off so that we can see the, uh, the scenario clearly. Um, I'm just going to touch lightly so that we get a real evaluation of um, what's going on here. This B key, the touch piece here, this is actually hitting hard at the back and that's why it's just fractionally open. Also individually by itself, um, the we call this the speaker key. This speaker key is hitting hard at the back, and that's why that um, leak is at the front. Doesn't matter. It's just not going to go away that leak. So we're going to float that pad across, um, and also I'm going to adjust the spring tension on this speaker key, the key above the B key. So the speaker key, um, that spring tension is a little. A little too uh, heavy. If we get around the back, we can just see that that B. Uh, let's just zoom in here. It touches there first, right there. But the rest of the pad is open at the front, just fractionally. We're having an issue with um, while we're at the back here, the A. And the um, the beers. Uh, not only is there seating problems, but there's regulation problems. Obviously, this this biz is it's okay. I don't mind that. It's got a little bit of pinhole light coming through, but we can. Um, but this guy here, this guy's hitting hard at the back, and it's unregulated with the beers. And uh, the G is is not too bad there's a little bit of um uh, floating needed just to get that seated properly a little bit of light in both spots sitting out of the back um all the alt keys are good um there's a bit of a leak on our e flat there we'll address that we might just clean the pad and clean the tone turn hole that's not going to help the low notes. Also, uh, before I go on to the right stack, I'll just check out this C. The C has got a significant leak, just as we can see that light coming out. Yeah, so. Um, we'll get around the other side of the C. So that's much better angle there, and you can see the amount of light that's coming out. We'll get that um, remedy. What else have we got going on? There's a few, uh, few slight problems going on down here. Not massive, but enough to, to give to give some grief. You see this light coming out. This is the speaker key above the F, we call this the speaker key as well. It regulates with the beers arm and also regulates with the G sharp key, um, which that regulates with the bell keys. So when we're closing the bell keys, obviously the G sharp is opening and what would hold the G sharp closed is obviously the touch piece over here, which is your, your F. Um, but then when we touch the F down, you can see little bits of light out of the G, G sharp, bits of light out of the speaker. And um, spring tensions may be, it's not too bad. That's good, yeah, that's good. This guy's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty heavy spring tension. So, um, let's 
some too bad. A rut stack is not too bad. A little bit hitting hard at the back there. That just touches there. So we'll get that addressed. And the, uh, you can see, actually, anyway, we we're gonna get that regulated better. Yeah, it's a little too open the regulation of the E when the E touches down on the speaker. Doesn't touch down at all. We need that changed so that the F sharp um, speaks well. And um, just look at these bell keys here. All right. Now the bell keys are not too bad. You've got a little bit of opening there at the B which is just a little bit of the bell alignment and there's some regulation issue that the B flap is closing before the B. We want that the other way around. We want the B to be touching down first. Also, I noticed before when I was looking, this um, regulation between the B and the, the C sharp is pretty uh, rad. We want that to be a lot closer. And, um, C sharp might get a little adjustment as well, so that it actually closes a little bit more even. Haven't checked out the neck tenon yet. We'll, um, we'll give that a look right now. Just gonna turn this light on here. And we'll turn this light on over here. Grab this neck tenon. We'll just have a little see what tension is going on here, if any. See how it's fitting. So it should just. There's just a minor wobble there, as you can see. It's just a minor movement, um, which could make a little bit of a difference if I if I get rid of this and make it more even. So we'll do some adjustment on the relationship with the uh, tenon receiver and the neck tenon. Definitely going to uh, yeah, clean that and then do an adjustment there. But so we're going to do a couple of hours on this horn and um, get it working so that it's real good. It's uh, the serial number is, what is the serial number here? We've got a PM012309. It says it's special handmade. Hmm, special handmade, I wonder what that means. PM012309. It's uh, System 76, second edition.